Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Aileen and here we like to talk about all things makeup, mostly luxury makeup, skincare, and fashion. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I hope you consider subscribing. So today, I want to take a look and play with the Dior 022 Cruise Look. I did pick this up <clears throat> when I picked up the Golden Day, the real Golden Day. And I just haven't had a chance to play with it. So I have been MIA, missing in action. There are a lot of things going on in in Cuba. Um, and I do have family in Cuba that are just very near and dear to my heart. And I have been focused on that. I haven't been in a good emotional place to film. But we're going to get through it. <laughs> this is my happy place. And I just needed to get away and focus on this. And to all of you that have reached out to me to know more. To ask what's going on that have been willing to learn and take the time to talk to me and just educate yourselves. I thank you. I thank you for taking the time for wanting to know more, for for just caring for mankind and all that it is. So let's do makeup. So originally, I wasn't even gonna pick up this palette. I think I was in Magpies and I was like, eh. Mm -mm, not gonna do it and then I saw sh this first shade and this middle shade swatched and I thought I was gonna lose my bonkers so, like this right here <laughs> I was like I gotta have it so let's create a look but before we go comment like subscribe let's get to it this palette totally caught me off guard like I had no interest in it and then I saw Feisty and um, Just Glow Firefly and Lexi like swatch them. And I was like, oh, those two shades got me. So I'm just going to start with this shade here. And I'm going to go with the Westman Atelier Baby Blender into this shade. And this formula, you guys, I, I cannot stress enough how beautiful this formula is. And this is more of a compact, dense brush. And I chose this brush because it is gonna apply more pigment and keep it in one place versus just shearing it out, like starting really sheer and having to buff it out and pile it on. Just because this formula is so so soft it's a great thing that it's that soft because if you're not comfortable with shadows this is a great formula to start with like it's really just it's amazing i already placed that so i'm just gonna lightly go in circles around that line and then back and forth and soften it and soften that up so pretty then I'm gonna go into this shade here and I'm just going to apply this all over the lip I just gotta put it all over I'm sorry and this is my Tom Ford 03 it's a shadow or concealer brush I use it for shadow And there it is. So, so pretty. Next, I'm going to go into this shade here. I didn't swatch that one. It's in right there. With a Tom Ford 14, which is like a pencil brush. And I'm just going to put that in the inner corner. And then with a softer brush, more with more flexibility, which is the BK Beauty 201. I'm going to just put that right up here and then go back to my baby blender 
and just blend those two shades together. So pretty. Every day, I'm going to go back into the first shade with my Tom Ford 14 and just bring that first shade along the lower lash line and then go back into this shade with, that we used in the inner corner and bring it ever so slightly onto the lower lash. Very soft, every day, very fast. Like these are the looks I would do all the time when I was going to the office. One, two, three, let's go out the door. But next, so I've cleaned off my baby blender and I'm gonna go into this middle shade here. Oh, look at that. That is pigment. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna actually start right out here and apply the majority of the pigment here and then work my way in. Oh, that is pigmented. I knew, I knew this shade was gonna come all the way through. Yes. I brushed that off. And still, that's a lot of pigment. So I'm gonna get my BK Beauty 201 and soften that out. And there you go. That's just one shade. Wow. This shade definitely did not disappoint. So next I'm gonna put this shade here all over the lid. And I am gonna do that with my finger. That's a lot easier than it usually is because I cut my nails shorter. I broke one and I was like, okay, it's time that we cut them down a little bit. They're so pretty. So I'm going to go back into that middle shade and I'm going to just dip one time and put this just one above right here where the two shades meet. And I'm gonna go back in with the Tom Ford 14 into the pearly white shade for my inner corner. And also bring it up a little bit. And down. And I wanna see because it does have more pigment than a topper shade, but I want to see what that sh white shade will look like in the middle as like a topper. Will it give it a little oomph? And it definitely does. So I'm going to go back in with that middle shade in my baby blender because I like I've mentioned before I just pinched a brush. I just pinched a brush and bring it down. It's one less brush I gotta wash. And there you are. I am loving this palette. Let me swatch it for you guys. <laughs> So this is the palette here. That's just marks for me sitting my arm on the table, but this is the palette right here. This shade and this shade, like these two shades I originally swatched are the ones that were like, especially this one. Got me, got them, add to cart. <laughs> okay, so here are both eye looks without liner or mascara. Let me add some eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I did 
It's like, whoa, okay, New Aileen. <laughs> I did line my lash, like right above my lashes and the lower lash line with the Chanel 932 Matte Taupe. I lined the top up here and brought out a little wing with my brush and then brought the liner on the outer third on this side. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury, what is this called? Green Lights Matte. It's the Magic Duo. And I applied the Marc Jacobs At Lash Mascara. And for lips, I was excited because I really wanted to try this shade. So I used the, Victor the Victoria Beckham 04 Lip Liner and the new Lisa Eldridge in the shade painterly. I am so excited. I was like, I want to use this painterly shade. But here are the eye looks with liner and mascara. You can really dress them up. I love that they're so warm. There's warm and there's cool. But you could dress it up with a liner. This is very everyday. If I did this, I'd probably do like a pinky nude. Hmm, I would do a pinky nude with this too, but where are we going? She cute. But I am really liking both eye looks. I know the camera may not do it justice, but they are really pigmented. It is a beautiful quint. I am definitely not mad to have this in my collection. Not at all. This middle shade right here is absolutely stunning. And because this shade here leaned more rose gold, I had to have it. And I'm not mad at it. And she's going to be loved and she's going to be used. I know there were I know there were a lot of talks that it was a limited edition palette, limited edition for 72 hours, then it was going to be gone. And then it would come back at a later date. Well, then Dior was having trouble with their site. Who would have thought? and never took it down after 72 hours. So when I saw it was still around, I decided to pick it up. I'm not upset that I did. I'm really enjoying it. I love both looks. I can't wait to create more looks with it, but it is limited edition. It's listed on the Dior site as the limited in the, it is listed in the limited edition section of the Dior site, but how long it'll be around, who knows? We all know Dior can't get it together, but that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for coming, and until next time, don't forget, we're all perfectly imperfect. Bye.